Hello, welcome to uh, just a few things that my partner and the kids got for my birthday. Uh, first of all, the kids got us this. Super Daddy War. <laughs> That's lovely. The bands love it a bit. <clears throat> That's all I play, little Mario games, so they're really happy to see uh, this top here. How thoughtful. Uh, next thing I want to show you is my partner got the this cup. <laughs> I was really surprised at uh, what she got for us. Mark 20th Century Gaming. Um, it's nice inside as well. It's probably the the best colour I could think of to put me bottles of 199 cider in when I do my streams. I think that's pretty cool. Nice little novelty. Again, very thoughtful. Um, we also got, unbelievably, this is uh, possibly my favourite one. Uh, I use a, a tea towel for my mouse on my little eight pound B&M's fully up table. So she's uh, decided, she knew Thrust was my favourite game. And she's uh, sort of getting this little mouse mat for us. Um, I can't remember what we call the place. I'll have to. I'll leave it in the description. Anyway, I think that's great. That's level one. That's the Commodore sixty four version as well, which uh, which was a good guess for her because there's that money. Nice little thrust mat. Great. Which li links on to the other present she got us, which is a compendium of Commodore sixty four games. By Kieran Hawken. Now, uh, the first game I looked up to see if it was in there because it sort of it gives you 10 games from each letter of the alphabet. I'm not going to spoil his book, anything like that. Uh, but I will show you one score. And Kieran, if you ever get round to seeing this or by accident or wherever, um, I've got to say, you, you review on Thrust. Uh, well, let's have a look anyway. 133. Now he's given each game a score um, and thrust, he gave it a 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10. Kieran, come on. Um, thrust is a budget game and he says that it's, um, this is definitely, it's funny how sometimes the clones are remembered better than the games they are actually based upon. Possibly true. This is definitely the case. With Thrust, originally released for the BBC Micro in 1986 by the late Jeremy Smith, it is pretty much just a rip-off of Atari's 1982 Vector Arcade game Gravatar. No, it is not. Gravatar does not have any clistrum pod, tractor beam. Um, it's probably got more in common with that side of the game to Space Jewel, the follow-up to Asteroids, one of the Games after Asteroids anyway, I know there was Asteroids Deluxe as well. Um, so no, it's not It's not uh, a rip-off. A rip-off is something that is basically something that's trying to be identically the same and grab the eyes and go on the from board. Throw stars, so yeah, no, get that right, mate. Uh, the end of the game is to pilot a spacecraft over picking up pods using the attractor bay and fly them into the space. Grab it eye, you don't do that. Um, probably the closest thing we are to a proper gravity type game is 1985, the day after. Well, there's no clistrum port, it's just a ship going down, picking the little things up and get the top of the screen. Uh, it's a subjective score. It's not something that the score rep is represented across all the magazines and stuff, which we've got uh, really favourable reviews across all the, most of the magazines anyway. And I think you got fair enough if you're gonna give your subjective score, but I mean, I, there's like the games of Impossible Mission. I kind of play them. And he says down the bottom, he found the game infuri infuriatingly difficult. Controlling the ship is an absolute chore. And gameplay to be, uh, just takes away from everything else that is good. Thrust has really nice vector style graphics, 
and but that cannot save it from being one of the most annoying games I have ever played and one that I just can't understand the love for. Now what I'm trying to say it is if you kind of play thrust or you didn't give it enough time then I think you shouldn't be reviewing a game. If you're just going to say I've had a go of it and what I had a go of it this is how far I got and uh, I didn't like it that's fair enough but didn't review it you've got to play at some depth to say that you've given a review and if you did that you would have gotten used of it you would have understood it was an absolute classic game and uh, probably it's better than grab it right to be honest it's the same with me with impossible mission I kind of play impossible mission I kind of work out the puzzle parts but I wouldn't say it was a terrible game I know it's a brilliant game but I wouldn't disrespect it by giving it a low score if I did review games. I would just say, I understand it is a brilliant game, but it's one that I find difficult to play. Simple as that. So you thought this 10 score is totally ridiculous, to be honest. And uh, that's what I wanted to say about that. But it is a book I'll, I will read and have a look at the different types of games. Rare of a must score 4 out of 10. Uh, I don't want to give his book away if anybody wants to read it. But it's still going to be something that I take to the toilet and read. Uh, that didn't mean any disrespect to that. I've read Lord of the Rings on the toilet now. So, Kieran Hawken. Play thrust again. And be impressed. Anyway, the last present I got, which is another novelty present about the channel, is... Let's have a look. She got me this. Du, 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 du. 20th century German t shirt. <laughs> oh, bless her. That's lovely. That's, how thoughtful is that she's gone out of the way to do that? It'll be a novelty t shirt for me. Uh, I might wear it now and again. I feel a bit strange wearing it, to be honest. But just for that uh, to do that, you know, I think that's really nice of her. So I thank her for that. She's a good lass. Anyway, just wanted to share a few presents while I got for my birthday. That's it, lads. Catch you later. Draw.